And now, here's Dialogue, a podcast with Gene Richard from KBZ 105.9 FM. Today's show is being sponsored by... Hi, I'm Sandy Holloway, and I'm running for mayor of Thibodeau. Whether it's the rise in crime, job opportunities, or too much time spent sitting in traffic, I'm here for you. I'm ready with a practical, doable plan to address our city's most pressing issues. With over 30 years of experience meeting challenges and getting positive results, I'm prepared to lead on day one for fresh leadership and positive change. On November 8th, vote Sandy Holloway for mayor. Pay for a Sandy Holloway for mayor. And welcome listeners to Dialogue at KBZE 105.9 YouTube channel here. Uh, we're in front of the courthouse again and we've got another uh, mayoral candidate with us today in Miss Sandy Holloway. Miss Sandy, first of all, welcome to the program. Thank you, Mr. Jean. You bet. Great having you. And um, well, I tell you, it's nice. It's sunny. I hope you're not squinting too bad. I'm, I'm trying not no, to. It's much now but than what it was in July. Yeah, you're right. It's, you know, it's just fun being out here in the wide open and not in the studio. Uh, but anyway, we've got Miss Sandy Holloway here. Of course, another candidate for mayor. And first of all, chill. This is nothing that, that's earth shattering. I know you you've been keeping a hectic, hectic schedule. With all that you've been doing and, and um, uh, forums and talking to people, well, just relax. Thank you. And, uh, you know, we're not, we're not going to, believe me, my questions won't be tough, uh, you know, because I'm just not a tough guy when it comes to that. I just, I'm a nuts and bolts guy. I want to know, first of all, I want to know, what made you want to do this? Well, I had this in me for, I want to say, it's been a couple of years that I just felt like there was something more that I was being called to do. As a public servant and elected um, official, I love serving people. And for some reason, when this came about and, and other things, I felt like, wait a minute, this just may be what I have been feeling of some calling to serve our community and because I've served the states uh, statewide and always have done uh, public service since we've moved here 46 years ago always involved with organizations and teaching children and then when I approached my family about this we felt like this is something we need to really consider talk about pray about and seek if this is God's will and as we prayed and really talked through what we had to offer as a family what I could offer as a public servant I felt good it just felt right and um, and then I decided um, to move forward and be a candidate for mayor and quite excited about it well first of all thanks for doing that and congratulations for doing that and listeners you know and I've said it a million times you want something to happen you got to run sometimes you just got to run and uh, you know you, you just got to you got to make the move and I, and I urge you all the time listeners I don't care if you run for city council or you run for mayor or you want to run for state legislature or whatever get involved get involved in politics and, and Sandy you you've you've been a public servant for a long time you're correct yes. having said that and, and I listened to you as you were you're talking why what's your vision what do you, what do you see what do you want to accomplish um, which with some some changes that you want to make what do you see for the future if it's your future if it's my future I felt like on the onset of saying hey this feels right and I began walking the city and uh, meeting with uh, constituents knocking doors talking and the more I walked the more I walked and knocked doors I began to even feel a, a faster heartbeat of wow a vision for Thibodeau this is it I'm feeling it I see it and of course there's a lot of what ifs and I've always said what if we had a master plan that can help all of our citizens and in the city government with city council to see where can we be five years from now 10 15 20 25 years and a master plan consists of the infrastructure and people think well, it's just roads, streets, sidewalks, but it's so much more with the infrastructure. It's about 
what can we offer here in our city besides those particular items like the soft infrastructure with how is our police department functioning, our fire department, um, our educational system, how can we as a citizen and um, a government support these particular items and I see downtown the revitalization of downtown with bike paths walk paths greenery the areas that we could sit and talk and have coffee along with our bayou you know there's a lot of talk about this boardwalk and I'm so excited about that and you know you kind of commend our our people these individuals who have invested already into doing something they're unstoppable it's like that's what it's all about to to do a work for our city and um, besides that how about in um, renovating our uh, auditorium to where we have a, a friendly easier access for concerts for um, plays for boxing skating whatever it may be in our auditorium amphitheater because we're leaning more towards the arts so we want to have that opportunity to have that available parks and recs we talk about a state of the art however let's talk about upgrading and continually uh, leverage all of our parks to make it to where our families could stay here because when you talk state of the art complexes whether it's a um, community center you're looking at years down the way mm -hmm. and I want people to understand I can talk about it today and say hey I want a community center I want a state of the art baseball field but it's not gonna happen today it takes money and where does that money come from I have connections with legislators I'm gonna to go to the State Department um, I'm sorry the Capitol for that fund Congress whether whether it's capital outlay or economic development there's money out there and we need to tap into it for our city along with grants we talk about the revitalization here uh, renovating the auditorium having state-of-the-art park and rec complex and it continues on. What about beautifying our city? That we can um, engage our community clubs, our, our citizens, because when you elevate different parts of the community, you're elevating everyone for prosperity. And uh, I so desire to have this beautiful city, a lot happening in entrepreneurship within our economic development that we can um, encourage our own to open up their business and that's entrepreneurship and have them downtown or within our city a different quadrants of our community and that's gonna take a lot of work but for people to open up their businesses we do have to have the right infrastructure whether it's hard infrastructure or soft infrastructure and I could go on and on about what can happen within our community to improving drainage at different quadrants as I walked and I noted that there were issues in our community and how can we manage and I know that the city has worked hard to try to solve those problems because com community problems need community solutions and we need to work together as the mayor's office with the council with our community but I thought about this for community uh, citizens to understand what's happening in our city government and with our council um, members is to have this professional dashboard in our government to where they can see daily these are the projects that we have whether it's drainage whether it's a uh, sidewalk repair or the turnabouts that are going to be on Jackson and Acadia area whatever the projects are that we have a professional dashboard that they can see the baseline oh this project begins today and see and they could see the end result of when it's going to happen and the cost and I think it's that open communication that we need um, to have with citizens and that they won't question what is the city doing and if we have that available for them all these capital outlays drainage and the list goes on for them to be able to see and talk about it and I also want to have a mayor's council. I want people sitting around the table with me to talk about hard issues, issues that are of concern. But along with that, we have to offer this quality of life survey. And in this quality of life survey, it brings out our strengths, 
our weaknesses, our opportunities. We have incredible opportunities here. Our people, our culture, our bayou, and um, our historic district. And what are our barriers? What are our threats? Why can't we move forward? And um, I want this community to have these conversations, to talk, and to bring in citizens from faith-based from our school system, because that's a major part here. We need workforce development. We need our school system in with us to support, because they're our future. I want to make the city great and brighter for our children, grandchildren, your children, grandchildren, for them to remain here, to choose to stay because of the opportunities. And when we look at our um, uh, police department because we know that's one of the major concerns with our citizens is crime and when we walk the streets when I walked and spoke with residences and noted how many dogs are in homes and it's not just one or two sometimes there was three and four hundreds of dogs across the communities and um, the security cams and I thought, wait a minute, there's something really of concern here. And they began to tell their stories of the crime, the burglaries, the speedsters, the drug trafficking. How can we manage that? And it's to be a partner with the police department and to encourage our police department to be um, a partner with our communities to have that dialogue with our communities and bring in a task force to have conversations of what is happening, what are those hard things that are occurring, and can the city fully fund that department we, along with this task force. And we have to capitalize on retaining our police officers. They're doing a hard work, a lot of demands on them, their safety and I feel for them we are in a time where mentally socially physically spiritually that they need support and how can the mayor's office be of support to them um, and making sure that they have the resources available when they look at that data to note that there are crimes happening more in this quadrant of the city we need to send resources there or there are burglaries in this or traffic issues here how can we manage that and help support our police officers and leadership training is vitally important um, that they know they have the support from the mayor's office but they need to be empowered to do their job and to have accountability a high internal accountability and transparency and that goes even with the go um, the government office that it needs to be transparent because I'm a public servant as a mayor and people need to know where the money's being spent and how it's being spent. How are we devising strategies to spend the, these dollars, these sale tax dollars and prioritize those, those dollars? And I can continue, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I don't be sorry, that's a vision. And, and, and as I was listening to you, one more question, and of course I know you're busy and uh, we'll let you go, but before that, as as you were speaking and incorporating everything in the city, how do you see Nickel State University be involved in that? Oh, my Nickel State University uh, is a major component of a revitalized city. You must bring in your university as well as your uh, health care because for quality of life, these components are necessary. And I see Nickel State being a partner with early child care. Early child care is part of the quality of life that we need to train our children young. Um, our university is also, then when you're looking at early childhood, but let's swing across that pendulum to workforce development. They have opportunities for us, um, just like they're bringing in the incubator, uh, the vault there, and to bring in entrepreneurship, uh, our young people, and I am like so encouraged by that, I'm excited about that, to bring in our children or individuals from Nichols here to do a work, a practice, and help that there will be some partnership and a liaisons there that can help support these young uh, entrepreneurs to develop their business, how to recruit them, retain them and sustain them and so all these individuals together with Nichols um, brings in a major component because we can also tap into uh, 
uh, economic development. We can tap into the small business administration from the federal government. Uh, there, are, d- Chamber is another piece of that because Chamber will be in there, and that's exciting that they can be a part. And the city government can be a part of that particular. I desire to have interns in the city. I want interns from different departments, especially like, say, the business department, to come into our city and work in different departments to get that understanding, the feel of what it's like to work in city government. And it could be um, the public works. It could be in the police department. Why not use their marketing department to help market our city and the uh, city uh, police? There are just so many um, different uh, ways that we can utilize nickels and leverage it in, in that and attend their football games and be a part of all their excitement that they, they have um, for us in the city. Well, I'll, I'll tell you that one more question, but I got one more. Sure. You having fun? Yes, I'm having fun. You know what the most fun is? When I knock doors and when I meet with people, when I sit and talk this way, that's how I gained my knowledge about the city. I thought differently. I was on the outside looking in going, okay, this is what I think. But when I began knocking doors and speaking with citizens, different areas of our city going, wait a minute, I'm starting to have a baseline here. It seems like crime is number one. Drainage and infrastructure, the traffic, congestion, people going, help, we've got to stop this. What are we going to do when the canal bridge has to be dismantled? You know, there's a demolition there and a new bridge. We already have trouble with a Tiger Drive bridge. What are we going to do? And I said, that's when we need someone from city planning, like a say South Central, someone that understands the scope of planning to help us understand what we need to do, whether it's the traffic lighting that needs to be switched out. Do we need to veer here? Do we need to have another um, route, alternate route? It's going to happen, especially with the, uh, the bridge. We're going to need a different route system, and that's what people are talking about. What are we going to do with school? What are we going to do with fire department? Think about that, where they can't cross the bridge. What are we going to do? Um, so I want to say the fun has been meeting with people, and even at the point of drinking coffee with them. And I said, I went, I'm coming back. We need to continue these sidewalk or bench talk or porch talk and it's been amazing amazing sandy holloway candidate for mayor thanks for being with us today Absolutely. had a great time and i hope you did too and i told you it wouldn't be too hard on you, you did a great no, job you thank, great. You. thank you thank you <laughs> miss sandy holloway candidate for mayor ladies and gentlemen don't forget the election november 8th make sure you get out and vote because as we as we say always majority rules if you want to be in the if you want your candidate to win you got to go vote you know, because if you don't vote, two things happen. Number one, your candidate may, may not win. And number two, you don't have a right to talk about anything. So get out there and cast that vote. I don't care who you vote for. This is a free country. You vote for who you want. But get out there and vote. Majority rules. Get your candidate elected. And um, we'll be happy if you do. I know I will. Uh, my, my old sidekick, Ben Harang, and I have talked about that for a million, a million times. Everybody, please, get out and vote. Uh, go to the polls. We can't say it enough. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it here at KBZE 